It is 17 after 1 on a beautiful Friday afternoon, and I'm joined on the line by the former drummer for Dragon. He's an ARIA Hall of Famer, he's a teacher, and now we can say he's a filthy animal. It's a very good afternoon to Kerry Jacobson. Hey guys, how are you? Not too bad, mate. Uh, it's great to talk to you. Welcome to VFE Variety and Lunchtime Live. Um, as, as I mentioned before, you know you've got a you've got a really extensive history in Australian music um, and New Zealand music too. Just uh, before you even joined Dragon, you were gigging around with a number of bands like Mammal and stuff over there. But you joined Dragon sure. at a time where they were just they just not long relocated to Australia and became yep. one of the biggest bands in this country in the 1970s. Yep. How was that to, to deal with, with Countdown and all of that sort of stuff? Um, it was a good question. When I came over to join them, they were still, um, they hadn't really made it. They just were, they just signed their first record deal and released their first single. But unfortunately, their original drummer passed away accidentally. And, and so I came over and, and uh, you know, joined the band and we were still kind of cutting our teeth, I suppose. The, the, the songs were still being written for the first album, Sunshine. And um, so, yeah, I was kind of thrown in the deep end, but it was still kind of pretty much what I was used to, just a, a low-key band doing low-key gigs, but lots of gigs, because all the bands in those days were working all the time. But then as soon as we recorded that first album, it just kind of went nuts from there. And so um, for a, a young lad from Wellington, New Zealand, it was pretty, um, I suppose, overwhelming. And, and um, you know, but, but at the same time, I, I, I learned a lot and I loved the experience. And I still remember a lot of those experiences, you know, today. I, I kind of won't forget a lot of them. It, just, um, it was a great way to kind of grow up, I suppose, which is how I look at it. <laughs> and you've kept very, very busy in the music scene as well over the years. Like even after you left Dragon, like you you left them when they kind of broke up in the the early eighties there, and then when they reformed, you jo rejoined for a little while, and then yeah. went off onto other other things. After uh, I think the last thing you recorded yeah. with them was Rain in eighty three, exactly, and yeah, uh, one yeah. of their biggest hits. Well, it was one of them, yeah, for sure. Um, I I think. I think I just had enough. I mean, as I said before, we were touring bands, toured all the time, and I was exhausted. I think we all were, and I just had to get out. Um, and I just wanted to to change things up. I wanted to get into a different style of drumming. I became a session drummer, played on some albums, and, and just sort of like did a lot of different things. I just wanted to, I think I was just um, bored with what I was doing, I think. And, um, you know, for want of a better word, maybe just gone stale and I needed to freshen my approach. So I got into a whole lot of different things and, and did some theatre work and, and taught myself to read and did all this, all that sort of stuff. So I found that really good because it kicked me off on a different wavelength and got me back inspired about music again. And I think, um, you know, I feel fortunate in a lot of ways that I've been able to do what I'm happy doing for most of my life. Yeah, you studied jazz drumming, I, I believe, at the Queensland Conservatorium of uh, Music, yeah. and, and then you moved into uh, education as well. Like you're a teacher now yeah. here in Brisbane, um, but yes, you still you still gig around the place. You were up in Cairns last weekend for uh, Savannah in the Round. I understand yeah. some yeah. who's who up there as well. Uh, I saw the photos with uh, Russell Morris, but you, yeah, Russell and Brian, yeah. And uh, it's great to see all. It's great to see all these people still gigging around and still getting the audiences too. I mean, it's incredible their performances. Russell's been doing phenomenal stuff. So has Brian. And yeah, yeah it's just. Been I mean, so I think. Um, well, fortunately, we haven't had um, a complete lockdown like the other states, and so a lot of the artists are using Queensland band. Um, that are artists that are stuck up here or artists that have relocated in, and where their original bands might be still locked down in Sydney or Melbourne. And so that's been great for, for a lot of us Queensland musicians because we've been able to pick up gigs again because the last two years have been terrible for musicians, just really terrible, like really nothing happening. And if there are gigs coming in and festivals or whatever, they're just either cancelled, postponed or or whatever so um it has been fantastic for these artists to pick up queensland musicians to do these gigs and it's it's worked it's been working well for everyone i think and that brings me to your latest project which is the filthy animals band now this is a, this is in itself a who's who of aussie music really you've got people in there that you know have played with the choir boys with the eurogliders james rain john butler trio 
And you've got yeah. an AFL guy, a former AFL player, Richard Champion, yeah. as your yeah. front man. Now, I saw some footage from uh, the Wallaby, I think it was the Wallaby Hotel gig you did uh, a little while yeah. back, and uh, doing a Stones cover. And I've got to say, I mean, is, is Richard not born for this or what? You know, if it, uh, he, he could have been a rock star if he hadn't have gone into Aussie rules. I think so, yeah. He's um, he's taken on a new lease, and I suppose um, something that he's not so familiar with, and um, and he's just hell for leather gone gone for it. And um, I mean, it's a pretty new band. It's only about a month or so old. Um, we've got a couple of gigs under our belt. We've got another one tonight. Um, actually, if anyone's interested, the Orion Hotel in Springfield. It's a free gig, and that'll be our third gig. So we're really looking forward to. Um, to getting rolling with this thing and the whole idea of it was because we're all based in Queensland um, we can actually get out and do gigs and um, and work on some of the you know some of the I guess some of the what's the word um, the bands that they've worked in um, and and use that as um, you know hype to draw people I suppose and it's good to see it's it's like an old school pub band too I mean just you know from the footage I've seen you know you play a lot of you know the the, the rock covers it's just like the old yeah. days of the beer barns and stuff like that you know the sort of gigs that you were playing with people like dragon yeah. and and all those bands yeah. that were doing the rounds in the 70s it's it's kind of back to that atmosphere and the from what i've seen of the footage and what i've seen of the the comments and things the punters are absolutely loving it so you're so the filthy animals at the orion hotel at springfield central tonight uh out there in, yeah. in ipswich way uh get yeah. out there it's free entry go out with the restrictions that have just been uh, reduced a little bit from four p.m. this afternoon it's a no better time to go out and see some great live music see Kerry and the boys in action with the filthy animals Kerry thank you so much for coming on the show uh congratulations on the new project and thank uh, you so much we'll catch you gigging around town uh with the filthy animals and with who knows with you know playing with some of the other these other bands around the festival circuit as well and these other artists Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. And, and, and thanks to your listeners for supporting um, live music too. And um, we'd love to see some of them there tonight. I'll just add at the end that, yes, we do play 80s and 90s rock classics, bands like Foreigner and The Stones and all that sort of thing, but we also do songs from our own band. So uh, it's a lot of fun. We'd well, love that's, to see you there. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a great gig down there at the Orion Hotel tonight. Uh, I only wish I was able to get there, unfortunately. I've got to uh, <laughs> look after my little one tonight, so it's a bit hard. Oh, but um, I'm that. definitely going to try. And, I'm keeping tabs on, on your gigs, and we'll certainly promote when you're playing around the traps in Brisbane and southeast Queensland uh, in the near future as well. Uh, we'll promote it on the stream, and we'll promote it on our uh, socials and things as well to get you out there. Thanks very much oh. for joining us, mate. Much appreciated. Thank you so much, and all this to you guys. Craig B's Lunchtime Live on BFE Variety.